Hi, Booktubers. Welcome. My name is Alex, and this is Mental Jumping Jacks Book Club. Thank you so much for being here today, as this is my very first post ever on this channel. So I'm really excited that you decided to join on, on this auspicious occasion with me. So let's get into it. I've already uh, read four or five books, if I'm not mistaken, in January, and I, I need to check my Goodreads for that. Um, but I should probably do a best of for 2023. I read 52 books last year, some of which were really, really great. But for the most part, it was a pretty weak year. I didn't love most of what I read. Most of what I read either got a two or three star rating. Um, and so I really only had a handful of books that I gave either a four or five to which uh, the five, I don't think anybody actually got a five. So we'll look at that in a different video. But for today, I wanted to review with you the very first book that I finished this year. It's a little controversial. It's an unpopular book. If you decide to stick around on this channel, you'll see that I read plenty of very unpopular books. I like to read a lot of nonfiction. I love, love, love to learn. And so I'm constantly reading very unpopular um, uh, subjects. I tend to read books that are either difficult to find or uh, are not very highly rated on certain websites or just have very few purchases on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or what have you. And then other times I do like to read more mainstream material. I am absolutely obsessed with middle grade fiction it's really the only fiction I enjoy. I, I rarely, rarely ever read adult fiction, um, but I'm hoping to read a little bit more adult fiction this year. As I read somewhere, I think it was in a Harvard Business Review article, that highly intelligent people read a lot of science fiction and fantasy, adult science fiction and fantasy. So I must be as dumb as a doorknob because I have such a difficult time getting into that genre. Uh, but I will tell you, and I will share some of my middle uh, grade books with you because I do like to read quite a bit. But for the most part, I will be sharing with you nonfiction, memoirs, um, political, I love to read a lot of political content, current events, biographies, etc. So come along on this journey with me if you'd like. I'd love for you to be here with me. Uh, for those of you who aren't big on nonfiction, maybe I can share some really great recommendations with you. I find so much of history in particular to be really rather fascinating and quite entertaining oftentimes, um, depending on who's telling the, the history, depending on the author. It could either be, it could either drone on and, and just be incredibly difficult to get through, or sometimes you have the great fortune of finding an author who turns history into a really great story. So that's where we are. Um, my very first book for this year, oh, by the way, caveat, uh, I should let you know, I have never had a YouTube channel before, and so I need to learn how to edit videos. I've never edited videos before, so my first few videos are going to be incredibly rudimentary and sophomoric, so please be patient with me until I can figure out how to edit these, how to cut out the bloopers. I, I think this is take... 30 something, not an exaggeration in any way, shape or form. Uh, and at this point, I'm so incredibly tired that I'm just going to post this video the way it comes out today. So without further ado, let me share with you my very first book of this year. Uh, I didn't really know much about what was happening in the Middle East. And so I wanted to be able to pick up some material on uh, the, the struggles between these two countries. And I'm not going to say the words because apparently YouTube is very sensitive about certain words and I'll get flagged and this video will just never see the light of day. So I found a really interesting book. I, by the way, I love to purchase uh, secondhand books only because I have such a weak spot for trees. And if we can um, reduce the, the damage that we do by printing tons and tons of books, then I'm all for it. So I like to purchase secondhand books. Uh, I found this fascinating book by Michael Pageant or Pageant, I'm not sure how, or Pageant, excuse me, I'm not really sure how you say his name. It's uh, Racing Toward Armageddon. And I thought the premise of the book was fascinating, uh, fascinating because it's intended to do a deep dive into all three of the Abrahamic religions. And I thought, oh, great. Well, 
I know quite a bit about Christianity since that's the, the um, religion that I grew up in, but I really didn't know much about Islam and I didn't know much about Judaism. And I thought, well, great, he's going to give us an in-depth look at both, um, at all three religions and let us know how they're affecting uh, what's happening in the Middle East and how it's affecting us here in the US and everybody else around the world. So let me read really quickly the synopsis for you. It says, in his provocative new book, Racing Toward Armageddon, Michael Badgent, best-selling author and one of the most controversial religious theorists of our time, turns his keen attention to modern day Jerusalem and its increasingly important role in global affairs, exploring yet another of his explosive theories, that hardliners within the three great Abrahamic religions many of whom hold positions of enormous influence in government, industry, and the military worldwide, are working to hasten our end as prophesied in each, as prophesied, excuse me, in each of their texts and traditions of faith, exposing these forces, the myths upon which many of their beliefs are based, the stealth actions they have been taking for decades, and the insidious and potentially devastating effect they are having upon the social, cultural, and spiritual fabric of our society. Bagent poses the pressing question, can we really afford the remain, to remain oblivious much longer? And so as you can see, I annotated quite a bit in the book. It started off, should I tell you my rating first? Let me tell you my rating first. I think in my Goodreads it says, it's, I, I gave it a one, and mainly because I was very, very frustrated by the time I finished it. It's probably more like a two. And I'll tell you why. The writing wasn't as academically spectacular as I was hoping it would be. And then, so it started off strong as an academic read. Um, it started off pretty strong with an explanation of each different religion. And for the most part, in the first five or six chapters, first, first four or five chapters, really, he remained very biased, uh, unbiased. He was very neutral. He really gave an explanation of each religion and pretty much just set up the scene of what the rest of the book was going to be like. Somewhere in the middle, I'm not sure what in the world happened, but somewhere around here, his tone suddenly changed drastically. He went on an absolute personal rampage against Christianity. He completely obliterated everyone in it to the point where he turned to name calling, um, mimicking, ridiculing, and it just sounded so unprofessional all of a sudden. And then he did explain his displeasure with Islam and then suddenly left out a ton of information about Judaism and really barely touched it. Um, but then towards the end of the book, he suddenly started favoring one religion over the other two. And it was such a strange, it, it was supposed to be a neutral look at how all three religions have a part in this war in this particular area of, of the world and how their views and are affecting different politics in these different countries. And he just missed the mark in every single way. And all of a sudden his completely unbiased view at the beginning of the book turned into an some kind of very personal campaign towards the end of the book. And he made his personal opinions and his personal views and inclinations incredibly clear in the last three chapters of the book. So that for that reason, I gave it a one. It's really more like a two. But if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the struggle between Israel and Palestine, believe it or not, I recommend it. I recommend it because it's important to view, he, so he does have uh, several degrees in theology and something else I, I can't remember right now, but he does make some pretty interesting points in the beginning, but I think it's important to read books like these so that you can understand people who don't necessarily think the same way you do, or so that you can get a better understanding of how different people approach this subject and how they deal with it on a daily basis. It, it is a very interesting read, regardless of whether you agree with him or not. So I still recommend the book. It is interesting. I simply didn't like it because he poured so much of his personal views into it, but it's not to say that it's not worth reading. So 
that's my first review ever on this channel and i hope you come back for the next one i'll probably post my second review tomorrow and then at some point uh, later in the week i'll be posting my best books for 2023 and the worst books for 2023 so thank you again so much for being here and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening take care